Welcome to The Pulse, brought to you by MDT-TV. Typically, diabetics monitor their glucose levels by pricking their fingers and squeezing the blood onto a test strip to be processed by a portable glucometer. This can be uncomfortable, messy, and will often have to be repeated several times a day, but a new type of glucose monitor will make the process a lot easier with lasers. A team in the engineering faculty at the University of Leeds has developed a small device that continuously monitors glucose levels, replacing skin penetration with low-powered lasers. At the device's heart is nano-engineered silica glass infused with ions, which fluoresce in infrared light when the laser hits them. The glass's fluorescence signal varies, shining longer depending on the user's blood glucose concentration. And it only takes 30 seconds, with no blood to show for it. A Virginia Tech scientist has developed a model for robots with bacteria-controlled brains. He used a mathematical model to demonstrate that bacteria can control the behavior of an inanimate device like a robot. The bacteria in the mathematical experiment exhibited their genetic circuitry by either turning green or red according to what they ate. In the model, the theoretical robot was equipped with sensors and a miniature microscope to measure the color of bacteria, telling it where and how fast to go, depending upon the pigment and intensity of color. While an array of applications are envisioned for real-world scenarios, in the medical space, the research could lead to bacteria-based prescriptions to treat mental and physical illnesses, and perhaps even bacteria-controlled drug delivery robots further down the road. I've broken a few bones, and I'll be the first to tell you how uncomfortable traditional casts are. It's bad enough to break a bone, but the only way to treat it is bulky and awkward. Thankfully, a group of engineers worked together to not only make wearing a cast bearable, but also pretty fun. Boomcast is a 3D printed leg cast based on a scan that comes in two parts and snaps together for a comfortable fit. It also has a sole like a shoe and built-in sensors that track your walking. By far the most exciting feature, albeit the least medically relevant one, Boomcast has a boombox built right into the cast. <laughs> Rest assured, if I ever break my leg and get one, Queen's I Wanna Break Free is the first song blasting out of those speakers. I want to break free. I want to break free. Experts from Fraunhofer Mavis have produced a three-dimensional movie that shows the human heart in full action. The organ beats and pumps, and special techniques visualize the dynamic flow of blood in the vessels. The sequence is part of a new interactive experience to be presented by the Ars Electronica Center in Linz. The three-minute sequence is based exclusively on real medical data gathered by the Institute's MRI scanner. The researchers use sophisticated volume rendering methods to create the images. The blood flow sequence is a product of a new method called particle-based flow visualization. The concept stems from computer simulations for wind channel experiments. Fed with the MRI data and adjusted to the human body, it can now visualize bloodstreams in the vascular system. For more medical technology news, go to mdtmag.com or get involved in the discussions at Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn via the links below. For Sam Brusco, I'm Sean Fenske, and this has been The Pulse. Boom. End. I want to break free from the lies. You're so self-satisfied. I don't need it. I've got to break free. That's good enough for that.